G'day everyone. I am putting this video out for all of the international high level users. Um, that is everybody in the world, apart from those in the US, who are trying to do something with Twilio. And I get this question all of the time. A lot of people from my own country, Australia, I know New Zealand has its own issues. And of course, High Level have just released their own version of a phone system, the LC phone system. So I wanted to show you guys the regulatory approval process, what I do. Um, you know, SAS mode in and of itself is um, very easy to configure, right? In terms of the rebuild. Um, but what I'm gonna show you is if you wanna just work around uh, providing regulatory approval for your customer because that is a pain, it is. Then it's really quick to just associate the sub account with your own bundle, provision the phone number for them and move on with the rest of your life. So let's get down into the video and I'll show you exactly what I do. This is for all you Aussies out there. All right, guys, so this is seriously all I do. So, uh, look, just got a, a new customer. So what I'm gonna do is just to show you that there is a new customer on here and let's just find them. Here they are. If you have a look at the sub account itself, whilst we're waiting for it to load because it usually takes forever. Okay, if we go to the settings, and we look at the phone numbers currently, nothing here, nothing here. And you're also getting this yellow thing. Now this is not a SAS mode account, just FYI, but it wouldn't really make a difference, okay? So your customer is either gonna do this themselves and they're gonna come in here and they're gonna go add number and then they're gonna address and nothing's coming up and whatever else, right? And if I click on search, do we have a set of numbers yet? Yeah. Are they landlines? Yes, they are. Right, so this is the problem with Australia, that you don't see mobile numbers. I've myself submitted a ticket and it's gone into the ether that is high levels support. So, who cares about this? Let's jump into Twilio. So every time you create a sub account, the sub account is also created inside of Twilio regardless of whether you wanted it to or not, right? And so when you go to your agency view, just to show you this, agency, settings, and then where am I looking? Phone system, dash Twilio. Here's all the sub account identifiers for every single sub account you've created. So in Twilio, the sub account ID is gonna be this. Is important is important in case you change the name because it's a one-way synchronization. So once you've done it, it goes and creates a sub account at Twilio, never to be seen again. It doesn't keep updating every month or so. So if I change it to banana, I'm gonna be keep searching for banana in Twilio, it's not gonna be called that, right? So you're gonna to have to know what this is. Now I am already on LC phone system, but all the existing sub accounts stayed on Twilio. And then look, there's a little option here that says switch all sub accounts to lead connector. I'm not gonna do that, because who knows what kind of explosion is gonna happen if I do click, click that button. Um, if I forward down here, I could just go switch to lead connector. It does, however, say that the regulatory button to remove the numbers, so if there is an existing number, right, with this sub account, I've gotta do the reg approval. But I could just go switch, Lead connector phone system, yeah, no worries. Confirm. And then that'll be done in the next 48 hours, right? Whatever happens, who knows, right? The other way, right, is that you get a phone number through Twilio, okay? So, I'm trying to think if there's a phone number. I don't believe there is one for my growthable brand, which has its own sub account. Here it is. I'm not gonna to switch to lead connector. We're gonna to go to Twilio and we're gonna sign in. Radio, logged into Twilio. My major 
agency name is called Sales Scout. That's my other company. Um, view all sub accounts, right? So here they all are. And then of course I was going to be doing growth wherever you are. Where are you? Of course you can search by the SID, but I just searched by the name. But as you can see, this is going to match this. What I was talking about before. Radio. So we click on the sub account. We go into the sub account. Dun, 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 dun. I'm having a bit of a strange afternoon mood wise. So just bear with me guys. Anyway, so there's no active numbers. Okay. We want to buy a number. Can't do that because you need reg approval. which you already know. Come on. Right? So, regulatory compliance, bundles. Come in here. This is my whole process, right? Reg bundle. I'm gonna go Australia. We're gonna do mobile. We're gonna do next. It's for a business. Okay, got it. Next. Now the business information you can put in here can be your own business information. Friendly name can be called anything you want, right? Doesn't matter. But when you get notifications and you've got lots of customers getting new Twilio names provisioned, the friendly name is something that at a glance makes more sense. So if the customer's name is called Growthable, then you could just put like Growthable Bundle in here. The business name has to then match exactly what your business name is. And so that, for me, Sales Scout Proprietary Limited. I'm click Save. Boom, next. Supporting documents. The best and easiest document that will cover all of the requirements in one document is the document you get from ASIC if you're in Australia, if you're somewhere else. I don't know how to help you. But basically, showing where you registered the company with its address, with its registration numbers, all in the same document will or should in theory work. So I'm going to say it's a commercial registered document. I click upload and then I got no idea where this document sits on my computer. So maybe we need to pause whilst I, ah, oh, there it is. Never mind. All right. So there's my registration company extract for Australia. It looks like this. It's saying, you know, South Coast Project Limited, ACN, blah, 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 blah. Cool. So, again, we need to type the business name exactly how it appears on this document. The document number can be the ACN or ABN 950064. The address friendly name, again, can be anything. So I normally do SSHQ, meaning my kind of business headquarters name. The customer is who your provisioning the number four. Again, that can be anything. And then this needs to be exactly how it appears on that document. My company was registered in Queensland. And of course, Queensland is in Australia. And then the postcode is 201. No, it's not. It's 4153, I believe. La 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 la. Make sure it matches. 4553, that was close. Boom. So we hit save and it says what? That, it needs to match exactly. So we then we've ticked all the boxes and we submit for review. Now it will create the address off the fact that I had to include an address in the bundle submission. It also says that updates go to me because I'm the major account holder and it'll come from this email address. So of course we can go in here, we get an email that says blah, 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 blah. This bundle is currently pending approval. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pause the video um, and I'm gonna come back probably in 24 hours. So at the time of recording this, it is now. 
about to click over 5 p.m. on the 2nd of November. I'll see you in the next video when we get our approval. All right, guys. I woke up this morning to an email somewhere in here from, where are they? This is what it looks like when your bundle is submitted. I just search my inbox on that. There it is. So this is the latest from them. And that bundle ID has changed to approved. So now that it's approved, you can certainly just sign in, right? So um, this is the way I do it, right? So I just, I click the link and jump in here. And I'll just pause and speed this up because we don't need to sit through this. There we go. So we go phone numbers. Um, and overview, I'm gonna go to the sub account. numbers manage active numbers so now I can buy an upload right so now this is what's meant to happen inside of high level there is a bug or something when you try to do this from inside high level the API is just searching for like these numbers right so this call that it just that it does that's what happens inside high level but for Australia you need to click fax off essentially leave voice SMS and then click search and then that search gives you mobile numbers All right so now we can select any of these numbers six dollars fifty that's gone up it used to be six and we collect next and then business and then next and then you choose the approved bundle and the address that it automatically created for you and click buy done come back to high level and just log in here log in so go to the sub account in a less crazy mood today and radio so settings phone numbers Phone number comes through like this, right? So then all you gotta do is click add. Done. That is it. Right, so there you go. Any questions, comments, let me know. If it helped you, please like and subscribe. Stay frosty. See you in the next one.